What is up? Let's get quirky live. Man, I'm glad you're here. If you're not here, you're missing out or you're catching us later. Man, thanks for joining in. We're so happy. It's Tuesday in our crazy world right now, and I know that because I looked it up. Because um, if I didn't look it up, I wouldn't have known otherwise because days are a blur right now. But we're here live. So why are we doing this? Well, we started this a few weeks ago because we realized we weren't going to be able to meet with people in person and my life motto is I'm always one person away from changing the course of my future. So that means I need to meet as many people as possible and that is literally how I've made some connections in my past, done the businesses or being a part of jobs in my past and have built the business we have today based off that motto and building the team around the business. So we're Quirk Advertising and we have a team that is working remote and have been doing that for a while. Of course, we're doing that no choice right now. And uh, I just realized, man, I'm not gonna be able to meet with many people as I can to live that motto because we're all stuck at home. So we decided to do something live so that we can connect with you in a different way. It's definitely different, but it's a good way still to connect. So if you're jumping on and you have a comment to be made or a question throughout this whole thing, please drop it in anytime. We'll make sure that we do cover any comment or question that does come up. So you can ask anything. I will respond to it. It may not be what you're looking for, but I will respond to it. So um, it's about a minute delay. So we're a little over a minute. So we're in the future. It's looking good. Um, but if we don't say something to you for about a minute, it's because we're a minute ahead. So that's how it works. So today we're really excited and we're on episode 10. I can't believe we're actually on 10 episodes already. And we've been really trying to deliver solid content for you guys to hopefully help not only in your marketing strategy and marketing from home or marketing in general, but also giving you some good scope and things to look at um, as some of you are stuck at home and trying to figure out your business and uh, bringing in some really fun, good friends of mine, good people that can share good content. So I'm going to do that again today uh, with my buddy Jake, Jake Jordan. I'm going to get him on here in a second. Um, he is going to do a takeover today. So episode 10, we're actually talking about how we're using this time to put efforts towards marketing and making money, ways to make money right now while we're, we're stuck at home. So we're finding new ways to do that, things that we've known about in the past but haven't been able to put energy into it, and now we've got the time for it. Um, so we're really excited about that. So episode 10 today, he's talking about content marketing. Let's see, I'm actually having trying to find my right spot here. Jake, are you there, buddy? Oh, I don't see him. Hey, maybe he's not. Can, can you see me, Jake? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I was texting. Oh, that's cool. A little busy. I understand, you know. This is just a yeah. thing that we're doing on Tuesday, so. Okay. Um, okay. I'm glad you could join in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm Jake, glad to be here. Thanks for, thank you, man. Yeah, um, I know you've already taken over a few times and have jumped in, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about this one today because it's been something that we've actually kind of overhauled. It's like, even at home, I'm like, man, I feel like I'm working more than ever right now. Um, mm -hmm. doing some overhaul and stuff because we've got some more time on our hands so we're trying to use it right um, yeah yeah so Jake again if y'all have questions Willie I saw that you just joined what's up bro um, if y'all have any questions comments please leave them in I'm gonna be following along with that here in the chat but uh, I'm gonna let Jake do a takeover so man why don't you go ahead and take over okay I'll take the reins cool so How's everybody doing? I'm glad to be hanging out with James because he's my boy. And I'm glad to be hanging out with y'all um, because basically I don't have anybody else to hang out with. I can't go outside. So I got to be able to like hang out with some people and Zoom gets a little old. So let's do this live stream thing, right? Let's let's figure some stuff out. Um, and so I'm not sure, James is running my slides today. So here's what I know. One of the main things we're working on, if this is working, I'm pointing straight up at it right now, is we are taking our own medicine right now, right? And that's because COVID. That's a bad dad joke, sorry. I had to slide it in there, you know, but we're taking our own medicine. And so I've been having some interesting conversations online, uh, particularly I was talking uh, with Kira Day um, over on LinkedIn yesterday, um, who was uh, instrumental in helping me figure out attaching value like my personal values my own skill sets to a business model that would serve the public best 
And she was such a, a huge help in that. And she has programs for that and stuff like that. But she was talking yesterday about us kind of moving into a different phase of the relationship economy, right? And so as people are home and they're trying to figure things out, one of the b- biggest questions out there that I see across every industry and every other th- you know, place that you can think of is, is it okay to still sell your stuff? Well, everyone's trapped at home, right? And so I think that's a really great thing that a lot of people are talking about, including ourselves. Um, and as James alluded to, we're just trying to figure out the best way to um, to spend our time so that we're we're continuing to to build this thing called Quirk and um, help people to be out there helping people and, and to do both at the same time. And so, um, shout out to Kira for for getting that conversation out there over on LinkedIn side. And um, one of the things that that I really wanted to to precursor with before we got going here was that now is a great time to build relationships because people are starving for a relationship. So be a human, be someone that that is concerned and cares and is empathetic and is asking really good questions. Like my John, my friend, John Hill, who's a salesman talks about, um, ask good questions and that makes you a a much better salesman than everyone else. So that's, that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to ask really good questions of the people that we work with. And we're trying to ask really good questions of each other and we're trying to grow. And so my answer to that question is yes. Now is a fantastic time to sell. It may not be the best time to close, it depends on your relationships, right? But it's a great time to put people um, into funnels, to put people into um, you know email nurturing campaigns, to attract people, um, to to get you know new things out there, so that when everyone kind of gets back to whatever this new abnormal, as I like to call it, is going to be, um, then everything's going to be set up. You're going to have pins set up, and I feel like some people are going to have really really great months um, after things kind of clear up because they will have set things up in a way that makes it really easy to finish those sales conversations when we get back to the, the new normal. So all of that to let you know that we're taking our own medicine and we just want to share some things we're doing uh, so that you can s- steal them, try them for yourselves, um, you know, subscribe to them, find us. We're, we're on a live stream right now. Uh, in fact, that's the first thing we're going to talk about here. So as we go to the uh, next slide here, uh, we want to talk about getting the attention of people right now who we don't already talk to. They're not already clients. They haven't been clients in the past. Um, Maybe they've seen us around, but now's a great time. And do you know why? James, I think I sent you a text. Can I I ask you questions and you can answer on audio or is that a no? Oh, absolutely. Um, Yeah, totally. Okay, great. Do you know why now's a great time to be feeding the top of the funnel, as they say, getting people's attention? You need to be prepared for when people do come out of this. Right. And you've got the time now to, to put people into it so that by the time they're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And people are starving for content right now. They're at their house. They're going, oh, I've already read all this thing. I've done, I've, I saw a sign yesterday that said I finished Netflix. Like I was cracking up. I was like, yes, I get it. You finished Netflix. So people are looking for things to do. And what a lot of people are suggesting you do is get better at things that you already do, right? And so that's why it pays if you are someone who does business, you should be looking to get information out there right now that's entertaining, that's educational, that's intriguing, that's engaging. That's the attention phase. Get people to know who you are and why you exist and how you do things, right? So this is a perfect example, and you'll see the slide um, pop up here. Um, And you probably saw it if you were here when we started right before, there was a little countdown. This is what happens. We're trying to get this live stream out there and help people out, and this is a way we can get out in the market. We can People can see us because we're at home, so let's just talk about stuff that, that hopefully will help people. And so as you can see in the corner, uh, James is doing some killer dance moves, although it's not in motion. So, but that means you got to join on Thursday and come in early to see James break it down like James Brown. And so you see it's uh, a countdown and whatnot. So we're doing a live stream right now because people are home and live streams show up better than anything else. All the algorithms on every social platform right now love live stream. Everyone, name it. Name a social media. James, name, name me a social media platform. Ready, go. Facebook. Instagram, Facebook loves live stream. YouTube. Instagram loves live stream. YouTube loves live stream. TikTok <laughs> loves live stream. Live stream for you, a live stream for you. Okay, so you pop up in people's notifications and, and their phones. And so 
Live streaming is so easy to do now. So if you're thinking about it, hit us up. We'll, we'll, we have a complex system because we, we're trying to really, you know, keep it nice and professional. But gosh, you can go to someplace like restream.io and just plug in and, and, and you know, just um, log in to Facebook through Restream, put your laptop in front of you and start talking and you have a live stream going. So that's something we're checking out because it works well, gets in front of people, and guess what? It gives us something to do that we know we're getting people's attention. So that's the first thing we're doing. We are at the top of the funnel working on some attention. Okay. Next thing we're doing is we're going into the consideration phase. So when, when you're moving down a, a marketing or a sales funnel, the marketing funnel, you go from attention to consideration. People know who you are. They Hopefully they like you. That's why they're continuing to engage with you. They've heard some things that they like. And now they're actually ready to go, okay, what do these, these guys and gals actually do? How can they really solve something for me that I'm struggling with? So then what you can do is create what we call lead magnets, lead generators, something that you've probably heard before if you've done any sort of you know, big scope marketing class or conference or, or any sort of education. Um, it is a lead magnet. And all that means is you're gonna pick one particular problem that people deal with and you're gonna help them. It, it's as simple as that, right? And so uh, we've been working on one for ourselves. We already have one on our website. We have one because uh, we are a story brand um, guide, story brand certified uh, agency. And so we have a story brand website uh, review lead generator on our homepage uh, and, and have up until today. And it helps you with five tips to just mix up, uh, re refresh your website in a way that will make it a business card, right? That's a great thing that a lot of people are interested in. How can I make my website make more money? Well, something else that people that we work with often, very, very often people ask is, how can we get more sales from our website? Now the website's updated, great. This is feeling really good. How can we get more sales out of this? So we're working on one of those. We, it's a DIY sales funnel, right? And so if you, uh, that next slide, we have a, a screenshot of that. That's something that we're working on. Um, and, and here's the reason why, why lead, generator, the lead magnets are so important, okay? Is there's a lot of content on the internet. There's a lot of things you can do. We have a live stream, right? Lots of people have podcasts, YouTube channels. Um, they have blogs they write, they have infographics they build, they have all these things, right? So people have lots and lots of different options. But when you present a fix for a problem that you know your customer has, you cut through the noise, right? You, you have a clear message that says, if you are struggling with a sales funnel for your website, we have something for you for free, right? That's And if I'm looking to, to solve that problem right away, I'm gonna pick that over you know, maybe sitting down and listening to another Gary Vee YouTube video. Because I might get psyched up when I hear Gary Vee, but he's not giving me, laying something out for me. So you can do this if you're any business. That's the beauty. That's what's so awesome about this, right? Is you can literally, if you are a plumber, you can put out a lead magnet that says, here are five things that you need to look for so that you don't have to call me, right? <laughs> no, because most people don't want to work on their on their own plumbing. Some people put out five ways to fix your own toilet, right? I mean, that may work, but I would be putting one out that said five ways to keep on top of your toilet maintenance so that you never, ever have to give me a call, right? That's intriguing to me because I don't have to spend money. So literally what the cool thing is, is you can put something together that solves a problem and then they're going to be on your email list, right? So the next thing we're working on here is... Writing and, new emails. Uh, hey, Jake, uh, Jewel Hi says, hey there, Jake. Hey there, Jewel. <laughs> Just a little insert. What's up, girly? Thanks for stopping by. Um, so, yeah, so one of the other consideration things that we're working on here uh, at, at Quirk is um, once somebody gets your lead magnet and you're, and you're helping them really solve a problem, you're, you're earning trust. You're, you're um, putting yourself as the authority in the space, at least in their space, right? You, you don't have to be the master of the universe all you gotta do is be the master of their universe that's it's that's what a lot of people forget so you get that lead magnet out there and that's where a lot of people stop honestly because they've heard that lead magnets are good and they build something and then but they miss the power of the email that was that was grabbed and captured right and so there's a couple things you can work on you can work on a nurture campaign which just means we're going to stay in touch we're just going to keep letting you know that we're here and we're solving problems and we've got either fun, entertaining stuff, or we've got more problems we can solve. 
and it's all for you. Don't worry about it. We want to give you our best stuff. DIY, do it yourself. Um, we're here to, to help you know that there's things that we can do. That's a nurture campaign, right? And that a lot of times can just be tied to a blog where you're providing information or it can be provided uh, to a podcast or a live stream like this. We're just sending out episodes, right? To, to keep you in touch with what's hopefully good stuff for you. Um, but that's where also a, a lot of people miss is they just send out a nurture campaign after they, they do uh, uh, you know, a lead magnet. What they forget is you need to sell. <laughs> and so there's a sales campaign that's different than a nurture campaign. A sales campaign says, hey, see this thing that we gave you? Do you want more help with it? Are you struggling with pieces of it? Did you know that this part's actually really hard? And we talked about it, but most people can't do it themselves. If you have any of those questions, call us, let's help. We wanna help you. That's an email cell sequence. And typically those are not near as long as nurture ones. So we've been working on some of those for ourselves, been working on some of those for our clients. You can see actually on the slide that um, if he's got it up, it's the beloved one. Um, we're working on one for a, a nonprofit to, to get more people to donate money to this fantastic organization who's helping orphans in Ethiopia. It's helping give them a future, right? And so we're working on sales and nurturing campaigns for them. So that's something else we're working on these days. Let's see, any questions? So as I'm working through these, right? If you have any questions on uh, how we do these specific tactics, that's what we're here for. We're here to share our best stuff because we know that when you're ready, you'll give us a shot because we're gonna give everything we can away to you to help you. Um, and then when you're ready, we'll be here. So if you have any questions about um, the lead magnet or the email sequences, uh, or even the live stream, just pop them down there. We'll get to them here at the end and we'll go through any of the questions that you have. And as specific as you want, if you wanna know what frame rate we're, we're shooting the video at on the live stream, we'll tell you, okay? So let's get, give us whatever you want there. All right, so the other thing we're working in consideration, right, is creating new nurturing material, okay? So that can be a lot of different things. Um, there are other things besides lead magnets that are consideration events. They, they, where you go, hey, we've got this thing for you and we want to give it to you and we don't, no strings attached, but we know that we can help you solve this, right? And so honestly, redoing a website can be a consideration phase because people don't come to your website if they don't know who you are, right? Typically, they're gonna either see an ad, they're gonna see something on a social media platform, they're gonna see you in person speak or something, and then they're gonna go, that's interesting. I know who that person is and I like their vibe. Now they've actually moved into the, the very high point, but they're still in the consideration phase now. They like what they heard, so they're exploring, right? So a website is very much not just a sales uh, tactic or sales card, you know, business card or a, a sales funnel. It's also the consideration of why you should think about buying from us. And so right now we're working on websites. We're revamping. We're going back through uh, story brand stuff. We're going back through the uh, the Business Made Simple, Marketing Made Simple course that Donald Miller's put out. We're going back through different resources that we've used in the past and going, has this gotten bloated? Have we, have we missed things? Have things fallen off and we just forgot to put them back on? And, and re-tightening things back up because this is a great time to trim the fat. This is a great time when we all have hours when we're looking for things to do is to go um, something that a great sales guy, um, sales trainer Dan Duran, the marketing man, that's what he was called. Um, what he told me was you don't want to ever get back to the basics, you want to never leave the basics. So that's one of some of the things we're doing is making sure that we're the basics are, are being done well, right? Okay, so then we're gonna go back to the third thing, which is decisions, because now we're down to the decision point. People Are people ready to buy, right? We're still selling in this time. I've had two client calls this week who, who said, pitch me. Tell me what you got. We still have money. We're still working on things. Let's do this. Okay, so um, what you'll see here is James, our beautiful and handsome and <laughs> excited leader on oh, video. Stop. There, right? <laughs> yeah, please, please stop. Stop. Please stop. stop. It. Please. <laughs> um, we're working on video. We're working on more video. We're working on more things that when the people get to a decision point on our website and they're still quite not, not, not quite ready, right? We're gonna give them an opportunity to see us face to face even though they can't see us face to face. Look at us, hear what we have to say. Video is super powerful. Um, there's a study done about five years ago, so I'd love to find a newer one, um, where if you include video in the final stages of a sales process, um, that it increases close rate by up to 40%. That is massive. 
that means that if you see 10 people and two of them close normally, if you include video, you have four to five instead of two. And that can change your business. So as you can see here, we've got video. We, this is actually off of a live stream um, that we did, but um, uh, we're adding video to some of our lead magnets. We're adding video on places on our website for pop-ups. We're adding video all the time to places where we wish we could talk to you. Um, but we just don't have the time right now or we, we don't necessarily can't get in person, right? <laughs> so that's the things we've been working on uh, mostly uh, when it comes to specifics, right? Um, so what I would say is the other thing is what needs dusting off? I talked, I alluded to it a little bit before uh, about, you know, us going back to some, some websites of clients, some of our own stuff. Um, what you should see now is a slide of what looks like a chimpanzee in the bottom right hand corner. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, oh, Chris, that's Chris, my bad. Chris decided to make the funkiest face as he could on a call we were having. So <laughs> He's gonna get you for that one. Oh, I hope so. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, first off, we're having fun. Honestly, if when you're doing stuff and you're working and you're stuck at home all day, you gotta make time for fun. And so we have been working Zoom as a as an opportunity to to have some fun. Um, in fact, I think maybe was it last week that you talked about culture, um, James? Talked about some of the stuff yes, that you had going culture, on. Culture, yes. Yeah. So we we've got this this game time where we're all getting together, right? And we're we're just hanging out and playing games together as a as a team. And we're having, of course, we're having Zoom calls to discuss business. Um, believe it or not, this was a business call. <laughs> we were discussing business. But we're, just, we're dusting things off. We're going, what's working? What's not working? Um, it just so happens that our quarterly, semi-annual review stuff's coming up right now, right, James? That's right. Um, and so guess what? We're dusting off some old policies and going, can we make them better? Like, it, it, can we do something so that people feel even better about working uh, and doing the work that they're doing? Um, because now's a great time. We're all at home. We can we can toss information back and forth quickly. Uh, we did some work over over the weekend together, and something that would have normally taken a week took two and a half days, uh, because we chose to make that happen. Right. <laughs> so, um, what what do you need to dust off? I think if if you're if you're watching this and you're thinking, gosh, I, I really just wish um, I had some time. I forget who I heard say this. But they were like, if you are ever have been in the first three months of the year, you were like, gosh, if I only had time to do this on my business, I would be getting so much further ahead. Now is that time. Go back, dust that off, go, what are the things I need to do to focus on sales, to focus on marketing, to set, focus on my team, to focus on my own personal uh, education and skill sets. It's time to dust all those off. Uh, James, what are some things you're dusting off right now? Oh man, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm actually kind of focusing some on my marriage too, and looking at some books and some things. Um, you know, just personally, but for the business, we are looking at all sorts of uh, things that I wish. I'm actually looking at things I've moved for months ahead that I didn't realize. Um, ah. And I bought, I brought them to today. I was just like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna get to this till the end of the summer. I just went ahead and moved them today because I'm like, well, I probably can do them now. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's smart. Just move stuff up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Okay, cool. Well, dusting the stuff off. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's talk about what's next, right? Because we're doing all these things and we're working on different items and uh, dusting stuff off and fixing things up. But, um, you know, if we can figure out what the next steps are, then we can do even more <laughs> And I just thought, why not give something <laughs> away? Because uh, we've been doing this <laughs> every episode, and we thought, why not give something away? But this time, instead of making you find a meme and post it in the comments or come up with some random saying, getting a gift card, you know, who wants gift cards? We're going to give away. <laughs> Everyone's me? like me. Yeah. Um, we'll come back next time because uh, we're still okay. giving them away. Okay. Anyways, uh, okay. today we're gonna give every way some everyone. Blah, 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 we're gonna give away everyone something. So I'm gonna drop it into the comments right now. <laughs> but let's give away here. Let me do the computer here.
sales funnel. So we're giving away everybody our lead generator okay. that we've been working on. Yeah, um, you get that slide up there so they can see it? Yes, I already did the slide, but I, I don't know if my mic muted or not, and that was weird. So let me do it again. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, DIY sales funnel. Jake, talk about that. What is this? Uh, well, it's only the best, most amazing lead magnet you could ever want as someone who wants to make sales on your website. Right. What are you talking about, James? So Duh. it's, I mean, really, so here's the thing. We're big, big believers in simplicity, right? We want to just break things down and go, let's just focus on the main stuff. That way that you can get people in and get conversations going and, and help people out, right? So what we wanted to do was to share some of our own stuff that that's, that works works really well uh, with y'all. And so it's literally like a step-by-step -step guide um, to like the fastest way to, to build a marketing slash sales funnel online. It's shortest, most condensed, like most powerful way that you can do that for your business. And it's literally a step-by-step -step walkthrough guide. And James has been so kind as to get on and walk through it on video with you and, and talk about the different sections and let you know what's going on there. And then we have little um, activities for you to do. So it's a partially a workbook. So it's the best thing we could come up with right now for you, <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> we, uh, we've seen it work. We've got clients using this ourselves. Um, we'll actually be walking you through how to do it and then you'll see us be doing it with you uh, because it's a funnel for us as well, but it's a tool that we know works and we're like, you know what? If you got the time right now, if you do, mm -hmm. and you're mm -hmm. home, why not print this thing off, plug away at it, and you could literally be having a sales funnel up and running by the end of this week and bringing in sales, because we know it works. So click the link in the comments and download that PDF video walkthrough. You'll get an email with all the stuff on it um, to be able to do it yourself. So we're excited to give it away. I'm very, very stoked about it, because I know not only is it gonna help, a lot of people um, create a simplify kind of what they're doing. A lot of people get so caught up in all these things you can do and all yep. these ways to to market their business, right? And there's so many things out there to do that. And I even have an episode that explains all types of marketing and really the white right path of, of taking that journey. But this simplifies it way down to, you know what? We can control an email list and we can control our website. So let's use something that can get people on there then we create some emails that stroke that funnel to get them to do what we're wanting them to do at the end of the day. And ours is schedule a call. And we're also excited about this because we're hoping we'll get a lot of calls out of this that people need some help. And maybe there's a part of it you need help with or the whole thing or whatever. Um, we know that we can, we can do it. So we're excited just to see what happens and some success stories we hear of people just using it. So yeah, and James, like James mentioned, you can actually like play along, like you said, because we use this sales funnel ourselves. So you will literally be a part of a sales funnel. Um, so just know we're going to ask you because we want to do business with you. Um, but you can literally watch what we're doing too and, and steal anything you like that you see. Because right. I've always said that the best marketers and the best salespeople are the best borrowers. They, they find the stuff that works well and they adopt it. So let's hopefully you can see some of that in ours too. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, if y'all do have any questions for Jake, definitely drop them in the comments uh, based off today. Because really, we're you know anything that we use, you can ask systems that we use, tools, uh, resources, wh whatever. We'll we'll totally tell you what those things are. Um, we've got no secrets as far as what we use and how how we do it. There's just some things that when you're ready, you just come to us for those certain tools and those things to help you with it. Because obviously, we got experience in it, and maybe you don't. I don't know. So um, so yeah, that's what we're excited about. Um, yeah, I think some of the magic too, uh, people forget is. That you can literally, I mean, look at YouTube. You can literally go to YouTube and type in how to whatever. And you can probably find somebody who shared it and probably doing well with it too. Not just anymore where it's like, sure, I can find five videos for this, but they're all crummy and I don't even know if it's going to work. Right. But like, so it's the magic is not, I mean, the funnel is, is fantastic, but the magic is learning how to use it. And that's where if you get stuck, we can help you out. Yeah, totally. Um, well, since I don't see any questions, if you ever are watching this later, which we've had a lot of people watch things after the fact, obviously we live in a binge generation. So um, you can always catch us at letsgetquirky.live. We have a whole YouTube channel around all these episodes. We edit them down and make sure they're all the best parts. 
And if you do have any questions, though, hit me up. My email, james at corkadvertising.com. Jake's email is jake at corkadvertising.com. You can go to our website, corkadvertising.com, and click that schedule a call button. It actually schedule a meeting with me, sets us up on Zoom, and we can connect and figure out how to help you in these times or in the future or whatever that looks like because we want to make sure you're prepared not only for today but coming out of this. We're, we're looking at a lot of things coming out of this because we know eventually we will come out of this and uh, trying to put people in a position where they're ready uh, to receive more and uh, they can hopefully win out in some of the competition when everyone does come back and everyone's flooded the market again. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, what we're about today, but as far as moving forward here, I'm having a hard time figuring out my, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, computer main. And this coming Thursday at 3 p.m., I'm actually going to share this DIY sales funnel document that we're trying to get you to download. We're gonna really, you're actually gonna download it Thursday if you haven't by then, because we're gonna take up the why behind this is so important and we'll break down each part of it so that you understand how it could be used for your business and how you can apply it. And then uh, you'll download and get all the explainers. So if you download it now, great, skip Thursday and plug away at it. But if not, we'll see you Thursday. You're gonna download it then, because uh, that's definitely what it's about. Um, so yeah, what? anything else, Jake, that we need to cover? Well, I want to know, is there a particular food that you've become like, you know, st started like really binging on since you've been in containment? You know, food, um, the sandwich has become a, uh, an interesting lunch product in our home over there. <laughs> okay. It's okay. been good, but uh, it's funny because I do, you know, I'll bring lunches to work and stuff and have sandwiches and whatnot, but I usually have a lot of meetings too. But now it's like sandwiches every day because it's like making it simple. But man, food, you know, Easter just happened. You know, the, the candy I really like is those, uh, those robin eggs that taste like Whoppers. Mm. Oh, yeah, those mm. are good. I miss those. Yeah, man. they're, yeah, they're really good. But it's that, it's that sad part too where I'm trying to run outside, you know, like get some mm -hmm. exercise and it's just not the same when you don't have a gym to go to, keep you yeah. accountable, you know? Yeah. So tougher yeah thanks for the random questions today <laughs> yeah well i really i just wanted to like pump up the uh chili roasted pistachios that i'm working on i was about to ask you what yours was <laughs> yeah that was a selfish question i really don't care what you eat oh that's awesome <laughs> i want people to know that there are pistachios that are chili roasted now and that's amazing that <laughs> i didn't even know that existed. i care <laughs> i knew about pistachios never knew they were flavored so oh yeah yeah, salt and pepper also are a whole another world. Quite the jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for joining us. We're glad you're here. Uh, if you catch us later, definitely hit us up online. We want to connect with people as much as we can, um, especially while we're stuck at home. That's what we need. We need community even while we're at home. So hit us up, but stay calm, ration that toilet paper. We will get through this. And Jake, you ready to uh, dance it out with me, bro? Oh, am I ever? Oh, bro. Well, here we go.